dynamic design, good driving performance and the appropriate image of this car provoke harder to press the accelerator pedal. How did the hot temperament of the model affect the health of used copies? A large mouth of air intakes in the front bumper, powerful embossed wheel arches, drawing of the side walls, a body disguised as a three-door, a comfortable three-spoke steering wheel, advanced lateral seat support even for base cars, all this is designed to emphasize the hot image of seat Leon. Basically, people who prefer an active driving style buy it. In Ukraine, it is also possible to find charged versions, FR, 200 horsepower, and Cupra, 240 horsepower. Another feature of the car is the windshield wipers hidden in the front pillars, due to which in bad weather the area of backslash U200 be backslash U200 dead zones is much smaller than with the traditional placement of wipers at the bottom of the glass. In 2009, the model was restyled, which made not very noticeable changes in the appearance of the car. The front and rear optics, bumpers, and glass of the trunk lid have become different. In the cabin there are new steering wheel and climate control units. The plastic is soft and pleasant to the touch. The quality of the finish and the wear resistance of the skin do not cause any complaints. But there are minor claims to sound insulation and visibility. A matter of habit. In view of the dynamic temperament of the car, experts advise before buying in the secondary market to conduct a qualified diagnosis of the car for body damage. In general, the passive safety of this car is not bad. It has four stars out of the maximum five according to the results of the 2005 Euro NCAP crash tests. There are no complaints about the corrosion resistance of the model. You can only criticize the trunk lid, which has two potentially problematic places, see, weaknesses. Inside the Leon, five crew members can easily be accommodated, and thanks to the increased wheelbase compared to its predecessor, even tall people will be comfortable in the rear, see photo above. Visibility during lateral maneuvers is slightly limited by the front pillars of the body, which are far forward, however, as the owners assure, you get used to this feature, you control visibility by looking behind the pillars. Noise isolation is rather weak, the sound of the engine is clearly audible during acceleration and driving at high speeds, and the 2.0 liter versions also have a loud, sporty exhaust system. Although such features correspond to the active temperament of the car, not bad, Spaniard, and from a practical point of view, the cargo compartment, by the standards of the class, is average, 3401165L, and if necessary, the volume can be increased by folding the rear seats, in a ratio of 40 colon 60. Matches the image. A wide range of powertrains was intended for the Leon. We have the most common gasoline versions with a 1.6 MPI and 2.0L FSI engine. However, it is also possible to find engines installed on charged versions of FR and Cupra, 2.0 TSI, as well as diesel engines. 2.0 liter engines perfectly match the hot temperament of the model. The simplest 150 horsepower FSI accelerates the Spaniard with a manual gearbox to the first 100 in 8.8 seconds, and the 200 horsepower TSI in 7.3 seconds. In general, all Leon engines are quite reliable. The most trouble-free is a 1.6-liter gasoline unit. A characteristic weak point of the 2.0-liter FSI engine is the corrugations of the exhaust system. They break off over time. Another drawback of all 2.0-liter engines produced before the 2009 upgrade is the failure of individual ignition coils. It is gratifying that the hot hearts of the FR and Cupra versions are also steadfastly enduring the boundless ardor of active driving enthusiasts. No other problems have been identified in the Turbo diesel units also deserve positive feedback. Many Leon owners praise them for their efficiency. With a quiet ride in the city, it is quite possible to fit into a consumption of about 6 liters per 100 and good traction. It is quite normal to digest their fuel equipment and domestic diesel fuel. The choice is wide unlike the platform Skoda Octavia, A5, and VW Golf V, as well as the first generation Leon, which have 4x4 versions in their arsenal this car is only driven by the front axle. But the choice of gearboxes is diverse, a 5-speed mechanics was aggregated with engines of 1.6 liters and 1.9 liters, 6-speed. Manual and Tiptronic, with 1.4 liters and 2.0 liters, and a 2.0 liter turbo diesel and 1.8 liter gasoline, with a 6-speed. DSG. There are few cars with a robot DSG. According to the mechanics of the branded service station, these units, Unlike the Golf V engines, problems with the mechatronics do not cause trouble during operation. 
but the mechanics can be disturbed after 100,000 kilometers, where the dual gearbox bearing is noted, manifested by increased noise of operation. In diesel versions, by 150 to 160,000 kilometers, the dual mass flywheel wears out, a characteristic knock when shifting gears. Most transmissions are considered maintenance-free, and only the DSG requires regular lubrication, every 60 to 70,000 kilometers. Tough but sure. Running Leon Harsh, especially versions with 17 and 18-inch wheels and low-profile rubber. But at the same time, without exception, all cars are distinguished by excellent stability and controllability, which fully corresponds to the driver's image of Spanish brand cars. For this, in fact, it is appreciated and chosen by lovers of active driving. An independent McPherson is used in front, and a multi-link in the back. Anti-roll bars are installed on both axles. Chassis has established itself as quite reliable. So, on our roads in the front suspension the rear silent blocks of the front levers wear out the fastest, after 80,000 kilometers, and the stabilizer struts can last about 100,000 kilometers, the front silent blocks, up to 140,000 kilometers, stabilizer bushings last much longer and are rarely changed, this is not a cheap pleasure, since they only change when assembled with the stabilizer. The resource of ball bearings is about 200,000 kilometers. In the rear of multi-link to 100,000 kilometers, the bushing and stabilizer strut may need to be replaced, they are changed separately from it. By 120 to 150,000 kilometers, the gum of the rear breakup levers wear out, the original spare part assembly is about 450 UAH. And the silent blocks of the rest of the rear levers are able to withstand almost 200,000 kilometers, will bearings also serve for a long time, but when the time comes to replace them, you will have to fork out, they change only assembled with hubs, both branded and non-original. The rack and pinion steering is equipped with electric power steering. Rods are able to run 100 to 150,000 kilometers, and tips even longer. By 150,000 kilometers, the rail bushings can break, which is accompanied by a characteristic knock when driving through bumps. However, in specialized workshops they learn how to restore rails with high quality. As for the brake system, there are no comments on its work. History 1999 to 2005 the first generation seat Leon was produced. 3.05 the second generation Leon debuts. 3.06 release of hot versions of FR with 2.0 LTSI engine, 211 horsepower and 2.0 LTDI, 170 horsepower, starts. 3.09 restyling of the model. The most powerful petrol versions Cupra 2.0 LTSI, 240 horsepower, and Cupra are 2.0 LTSI, 265 horsepower, launched into production 9.12 another change of generations.